here with Cyborg Matt. I like to call him Matty C. Mm -hmm. He is the uh, manager and overlord of Team Secret. Um, how is your team doing? Um, we're doing pretty good. Uh, as you can imagine, coming off the back of four land wins in a row into TI, I don't think you can ask for a better situation. Okay. So you guys are the kind of the undisputed favorite for TI. Mm -hmm. That creates a lot of pressure on your players. Do they feel the pressure, or are they kind of they're just no, very confident? I'd say they're um, everyone's pretty relaxed. Uh, we had a nice boot camp. Um, I feel like uh, you know we have a lot of TI veterans on the team. Essentially, uh, they know how to handle the pressure. And you know when you've got to a stage where you're winning a lot of lands in a row, it kind of just takes some pressure off anyway. Mm -hmm. And uh, if anything, being favourites is a a confidence booster, you know, other teams, it might put a bit of fear into the other teams, so yeah, we feel pretty happy. So undefeated group stage, Cyborg Matt calling it first, <laughs> undefeated group stage. I mean, uh, it's like any TI, the group stage is obviously going to have its own kind of little meta, and then when you get to the main event, that's where the real games start. With every team reaching the main event this year, I feel like maybe some teams would hold a couple things back for the main event, it would only make sense, so we'll see. But either way, I still think we're going to get some really good Dota. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, now you've spent probably like six months with these guys, just constantly traveling and stuff. Uh, well, I've been with the guys for a long time now, but mm -hmm. uh, if you look back at like our last six months, we've been pretty much living out of hotels or, you know, Europe, America, China. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, quite a lot of traveling. What have you learned about them that the public <laughs> doesn't know? Um, I want the real <laughs> team secret. Well, uh, I should probably start by saying it's a secret. Uh huh. Yeah, but I mean, it's uh, everyone seems is pretty, you know. We got on really well, actually. The, the whole team, they're, they're they're so funny. Even the, the Artur. Guys. Yeah, even Artur. Artur is a bundle of fun. Uh huh. Yeah. Do you watch Grey's Anatomy with him? No, I don't go that far. No. But I download episodes for him. Okay. So you know. You you mean you acquire them legally? Yes, I acquire them legally from a. DVD, you, you get can, the DVDs. Yes, and then you I buy put the those. DVDs. Yes, yeah, the and DVDs. Some, That's what the kids watch these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On his DVD player with his headphones. Mm -hmm. That's how you get to them. Okay. Yeah, I've also been recommending some like different series because Grey's Anatomy. I mean, he's a growing boy. I'm not sure this is the kind of stuff he needs to be watching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're like his so. dad. <laughs> well, uh, like reading I mean, Rainbow. You get him reading Rainbow. I uh, doesn't like reading. Coming back, much. right? He doesn't it like is. reading very much. But, uh, he can read, though. So. Yeah, yeah, he's a good reader. He told me he was like first uh, in his English class in fifth grade. Yeah, he's got like an A-plus in Twitch chat. Uh, yeah. He's really good at reading yeah, Twitch chat. At, yeah. He's good at that. Yeah. What, what's, he been, what's he been watching lately? Uh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Okay, yeah. 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 Complexity. They were talking about Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's been really enjoying that series. And then as soon as he saw the final episode, he made some spoiler tweets. Ah, uh, yeah. But uh, he already knew what was going to happen anyway because uh, people... You spoil can't... It, you yeah. can't not read Twitch chat and not read a Game of Thrones spoiler. So. What about the What about the rest of them? Tell me about the rest of them. Um, the rest is, uh, you know, as people know them already, uh, everyone's very dedicated to the game. Um, you know, they like, uh, you know, when, when you put these guys in front of a computer, they can play Dota for hours, and it doesn't have to be scrims or you know even pub games. Uh, everyone's very motivated and they just want to focus on their job. But but outside of Dota. You know, as I said, they're super funny. You know, you might not think, uh, you know, the Swedes are pretty quiet in public, but they're, they're pretty funny behind those. Uh, yeah. So they, they kind of cut loose. Yeah, yeah. S4 and uh, Zai. Yeah. Okay. Do you, guys, do you guys have a rival? Is it EG? Is that your rival team? Uh, if I suppose they're the closest thing to a rival. Uh, it's probably our biggest threat here at TI. I mean, they've, I mean, they, uh, they've been you at a few, not recently, but like yeah, not recently. before. Yeah. And, and, you know. Online finals? I mean, online doesn't count. <laughs> um, you know, when you're playing across the world, so it was yeah. like 200 plus ping. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, with the majors coming around, I feel like uh, we'll see a big switch in the dollar scene. I think a lot of the top tier teams will no longer participate in online tournaments. It's just natural progression. And I think um, if we start seeing online tournaments not getting these huge item bundles and everything, because at the end of the day, these kind of you know, these kind of <coughs> compendiums and items, these should be almost restricted to big LAN events, uh, you know, or else we just flood the market like we saw this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
you guys, you know, EG is a potential rival. But what about what about uh, previous teams like Navi? Any any anything? There yeah, I mean, uh, we have a very good record against Navi. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're in no, the. I mean, I, I mean specifically like Coron Puppy used to play on Navi. Yeah. Um, they split off from them. Navi obviously did, are not doing as as well as you guys. Yeah. They still made it in. This is a. Um, uh, this is one of the strongest Navi rosters in a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, they needed someone in that leader role, which Art Style can fill really well. Uh, Sonika is a perfect fit. He's like the savior of Her Thorses, crazy diving madness. So mm -hmm. it's um, they, they're a really solid team actually. Mm -hmm. uh, they can easily take games off any CIS team here and any Chinese team. I feel. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, they're going to struggle against us, but uh, I think everyone's going to struggle against us. So yeah. confident. I like it, Matt. Yeah. You guys, you guys have the, have the confidence. Yeah. And okay, so a, a bit more about Team Secret. Um, are you guys gonna stay in Dota, or what's the, what's the deal? Are you guys gonna pick up some um, other games? For the moment, obviously Dota Two is our main priority. But uh, after TI and into the new year, there is a fairly high chance that Team Secret may Expand branch out games. of it. Yeah. Rocket League, right? Yeah, Rocket League. Rocket League. Yeah. Rocket League. I love that game. Can you imagine the sponsors you can get for that? You can get like Ford. Yeah. 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 No, that game is that game's really awesome. I don't I don't know if it could be an esport. I don't know ESL's trying, but we'll, we'll soon find out. But um, yeah, I'd love to pick up a Rocket League player. And then you get they, they can put the like actual car that they're selling mm. into yeah. the game. Yeah. Like Tesla can sponsor you with like their Model S or whatever. Throw it into the game. It's got better fuel efficiency. You can like drive farther or whatever what I, I don't even I don't even play the game but you know you haven't played it no uh -huh. I haven't played it you have been busy out. researching I've, these um, interviews obviously I've been pretty busy with the team and everything I have rarely have time to play games anymore but I did get to play Rocket League and that's the first time in a while where I've had really a lot of fun playing games okay. so you should try it you don't like overthrow yeah I like overthrow mm -hmm. I like the custom game system I actually built my own custom game it's kind of like a quick what demo is it? Sniper's Jewel. Patch analysis? Oh. No, a Sniper's Jewel. Sniper's Jewel. <laughs> yeah. Patch analysis? No. Nah. Custom game? Those are long. <laughs> those days are long. Over. No, it's over? Those days are over. Okay. You, yeah. you passed off the, you passed the torch. Yeah, yeah. To, to Sir, Sir Belvedere or whatever? Mm -hmm. That guy? Yeah, he does a good job. Yeah. Okay. Maybe he'll manage a team next and he'll ba pass it to the next guy. Yeah. The natural progression from patch analysis to managing the best team. Yeah, it's uh, quite, a, quite a different leap. But, uh, you know, we're having a lot of fun and a lot of success. Okay. Um, you know, Secret is a bit of a mystery to, to a lot of people. They don't know. I'm not even saying that as a... You know, <laughs> it's actually the case, you know? Yeah. And uh, I, I hear that you guys don't scrim very much. Is, is, is um, that a strategy or what's, what's the deal? I mean, essentially, yes. Because if, um, you know, what, the reason you scrim is you try and, uh, you know, first of all, it's practice, but you want to get something out of it. If you're not getting out of anything out of the scrims, then why are you doing it? And if your competitors are getting much more insight into your team, um, you know, why why show them that? You know, we came in blind to the last four tournaments, and uh, we won them all. So yeah. obviously, TI is different. You know, they're gonna get a lot of a lot um, of intel on you guys in the group stage, but maybe yeah, you guys I mean, hold something back. You got some group stage strategies, some main stage. We strategies. have been uh, we have been scrimming for TI. Um, you know, but it's uh, a case of just to, just to keep warmed up and practice. And everyone's here anyway on site, so you know, we've uh, yeah, it's been going well. Okay, and uh, you know, I want to hear your thoughts on the other teams because you know, before you became a manager, you probably mm. you know you were not very well versed in super like high level Dota. But now you've watched probably watched these guys play for so long, you probably have some insight. So. Who, who are the strong teams, you know, other than you guys in EG? Um, I feel like, uh, obviously, looking on the Chinese side, LGD, I feel like they're going to do really well here. Mm -hmm. uh, they're probably the strongest team in China right now. It's a little bit harder to read uh, VG. They, uh, they switched drafters after ESL. Um, we haven't really seen them since ESL, so it's hard to say how VG are doing. Um, IG are hit and miss. Um, so, you know, it's, it's hard to say. It all depends on how they can perform here at TI. Mm -hmm. um, but they have been slowly dropping off. LGD is by far the, the stronger team in China. And I feel like, th you know, they'll be up there. But 
I do think Western teams will be stronger this year. I feel like the Chinese scene has been lacking behind. It tends to be like that every TI, you know, we have a we have a Western winner or an Eastern winner. Yeah. And when that happens, the other half of the scene kind of just doubles steps their, it up. Yeah, yeah, they steps it up, doubles their workload, and they want to bring the title back home. And um, in terms of West, um, I don't know. The, there's um, the mixture of mid tier teams is uh, is very close. If you look at Group B, um, that is a pretty hard group. Um, the mixture of mid tier teams in there is is pretty high. But I mean, the likes of Team Empire and Navi, I feel like they can do well. Uh, you know, I already spoke about Navi being able to take out any CIS team or Chinese team. I feel so. Yeah. It's it's very hard to say because um, when you're looking at the group stage, it, it's all about who can adapt the best going into the main event. Um, you know, one thing we learned from DAC was uh, not being not having the proper preparation to make that adaptation from group stage to main event. Uh -huh. Obviously, we we you know we performed very strongly in the group stage, but we didn't take that momentum and into the main event. Uh -huh. DAC was a long time ago though. Yeah, a different patch. But it's a Different. good it's a good learning experience. Yeah. You know, that was the first time this roster played together. It was a very good learning experience. Well, you know, I I'm pretty good friends with the other ma some of the other managers like Conrad mm -hmm. and Charlie and you know, I've noticed some personality changes in them as they mm -hmm. manage more and more. They've uh, become how do we put this uh salty. Salty. Yeah, is that's the right probably term. a good term for Dora. So, what about you? Are there you still is... happy guy? I'm pretty happy guy, but I'm a little salty. Why? Um it's just, I suppose it's natural, you know. It just wears you uh, down, right? It's a seven, I'm working seven days a week, so. Yeah. I could you're do also kind of, you're kind of like a servant to a few of these guys sometimes. So, in some sense, some ways, a little yeah. bit, yeah, but, I mean, you're like guys are you're pretty like, behaved, You're so. authority, but you're also, like, kind of, you got to do some Also, it's just, stuff. you know, traveling all year, yeah. um, you know, it's pretty, puts a strain on you, mm -hmm. um, living out of hotels, so, yeah. So I, what do you, I feel what like do it's you, natural. What do you do to stay sane? Um, I drink alcohol. Okay, <laughs> that, might, that might not be the best <laughs> advice for people, but no, I'm I'm only kidding. No, me, uh, me, Charlie, and Conrad are really, really good friends. Uh, uh -huh. You know, I feel like uh, EG Cloud Nine and, and Secret this year have have represented a, you know, some significant cha changes in the scene. You know, making sure that we don't all attend every single tournament. You know, going on in the year, we break it. You know, we break it up. Making sure the players don't get burnt out, and mm -hmm. you know, at the end of the day, we have the best jobs in the world, regardless of uh, whatever the situation is. We have the best jobs in the world. Um, I do, I do believe that greatly. Um, so we have a ton of fun. Okay. You know, my players keep me sane. Okay. Yeah. Very diplomatic answer. The next time our tour is like, Yo, I need a blanket. Give me another <laughs> blanket, Matt. <laughs> no, our tour is uh, our tour is a really funny guy. Um, all right. Do you have any? Do you have any? Any last words you want to say? Give me. Give me a. No, not really. I mean, and and I think it's just a case of you know thank you to all our fans. Uh, Team Secret has some amazing fans. Uh, obviously, we've grown a lot this year, and we're very grateful for your support, and uh, also the community in itself, who have been able to push the international to over seventeen million dollars. Mm. You know, the players are. What's your compendium level? It's uh, pretty close to a thousand. Wow, really? I mean, uh, I'm only I like, want the extra like, ages, you I'm know. Like we'll we'll take the main ages home, uh, okay. and then I'll take one of the little you ones. You want you want a little one? All right, yeah. got it. And give me give me a call out. Uh, I have no call outs. This no, time. nothing. We are we're pretty chill. Okay. We're happy and confident, so okay. there's no room for call outs right now. You're gonna get the uh, call out the oh, every other TI winner because you, you guys have a shot to be the have someone with two TI wins. That's the plan. Two guys, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. That's the plan. All right. All, All right. right. Well, thanks for talking to us, Matt. Um, All right. Thank you. Good luck. I don't think you'll need very much luck, but good luck. Thank anyway. you.